Ramble. Thank you to Rosetta Stone and Factor for sponsoring today's episode. What the hell is up, everybody? Welcome to the Tree Pog. Yo, everybody. Hello, trees. Hello, frogs. My little frogs out there. Everybody give us a ribbit, ribbit. Frog. What's your experience with frogs? Because I actually have a deep history. I feel like I was catching them from day one yeah. in the pond outside of my house. Mm-hmm. I was kissing them. I was grabbing them. You were kissing I was them? Capturing You're not them. supposed to kiss them. Well, well, if you want a prince. You were looking for your prince? I was looking for my prince. But I will say I captured them nonstop, like had a bucket of frogs that I was always adding to putting them back into the pond, figuring it out. So I was a tadpole catcher, but I, I was never able to get my hands on those slippery toes. <laughs> and I, you never I, graduated. You and never leveled up? I didn't even know that was possible, so I'm, I'm jealous. I, I had a, uh, a tadpole net. There was a little pond oh, at, yeah. the, at the end of my block. And there was, I feel like what's crazy is that there were a million tadpoles mm. and one frog. Uh oh! I'm you know worried that the, that frog was eating the babies. Oh he! Oh yeah! I do wonder. Did they? I don't think they eat them. Do they eat them? Maybe this one did. Maybe this one did. I will say there's a whole thing on TikTok where this guy is getting in trouble because he is doing what's called environmental terrorism, oh. where oh. he's taking all sorts of uh, frog, like tadpole jelly or like frog eggs, like. Tons of them, thousands, and then bringing them to ponds that like they shouldn't be at and releasing them in what? there. And he's just like, oh, isn't it cute? Like, I'm trying to put a bunch of... And everyone's like, no, this will disrupt the entire decimate. fucking... Yeah, it will decimate the ecosystem of this area. Like, please do not do this. Very interesting. And that's just some kid? No, it's like a man, adult man. He's a man. There's also he's somebody that did that where they like released like... <laughs> thousands of beetles into <laughs> Central Park and it, people were like this is gonna fucking ruin everything I just, I just did this like dumb is a man bit and then I looked in my rearview mirror and I saw the light leave Rainy's eyes and she's like I too shall go to the darkness and then she did this her mouth like made the same sh- dumb shape as mine and she also went here's a man <laughs> he's a man you guys adopted the same sort of joke we were both possessed by yeah. the, the, the invasive thought Thought. <laughs> invasive thought. Speaking of invasive species, and then we're talking about invasive thoughts. It's all on theme today. And speaking of invasive species, we're feces. we're invading. Spe- yeah, we're you're invading my home today. We uh, demanded. Miles said, "Hey guys." Nope. But um, <laughs> uh, I figure we've done Rainy's house. We've done Zach's house. We've done Eugene's house. It's time to do Daddy's house, and my baby will be there with my wife. Oh! Um, and they will make a brief cameo. Oh, and, really? Uh, I, I, supposedly. Supposedly. I mean, I was assuming that that'd be some off-camera action that I'd get to. Or we're padding out some time because this is. I haven't met your son, so I'm very excited. Yeah, you're, and you won't. But um, and we're not. <laughs> and we don't need to overemphasize it because we're cool. Yeah, we're gonna be cool about it. Yeah, you better be cool about it, man. Uh, I've. I love your house. Thank I've you. I've been to many a parties there. I've mm-hmm. been to a wedding there. That's right. Um, Got it's, married in the backyard. Don't tell my landlord. <laughs> it's, it's. Do you think your landlord is capable of of knowing? I mean, it's really hard to say. We were running a business out of the out of a house That's not what, too long you know. ago, and like that was never really. I don't think my landlord is aware of what we have wrought in the home. But I do think that she also like, even if she did know, would just be like, I don't know. I'm not gonna fucking like. We've been good tenants, and we lived there for a long time. You've been there a long. How, how long have you been there? Five years at this wow. point. Six years, almost. Wow. But, I feel yeah. like that once you reach a certain threshold, mm-hmm. you should start like just de facto. Your rent should start buying. Oh, yeah. A yeah. million. By the way, that's all I want to do is be like, what if she falls down the stairs and somehow leaves? Like, there's some loophole in the government. That I get the home, <laughs> that would be really nice to have. But uh, it is an older house, so there's like definitely some character where like the floors are really crazy old, and there's some weird parts about the kitchen, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, I do love it. It is home to me, and you can see the Hollywood sign from my porch because wow. I'm up on a big hill. I have many memories at your house, and I <laughs> uh, don't know which one I was about to share. <laughs> What? What, what comes to mind? Well, I was at a party once, and I was hanging out with Sarah, and we were... I, I was like, I closed your party house down. Oh, on my wedding? No, no, this was just a regular a old party. party. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, And I was probably stoned, and I was staring at this carpet, <laughs> and I was like, man, this carpet's got a good vibe. Yeah. And I was, yeah. And then I realized an hour later it's because it was Maggie's. Oh, it is? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's right. Do you right. still have it? 
I don't think yeah, we still have that carpet. Do. I think we got rid of it. But yeah, it, we we did have Maggie's carpet for a long time. It was when we moved in together, and yeah. it was like, it was like the carpet in Maggie's apartment when we first started dating. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, yeah, you you're like, I don't right. know what I like about this. Yeah, but. like <laughs> energetically, there's something, something good about that <laughs> carpet. In the fucking air. I mean, one thing about our house is that yeah, we love to have people over. We love to have people sort of around and in, and our parties often like. They culminate in sort of a big, like, there's just people sitting around and chatting, and it's sort of a little chatting circle, which I really do enjoy. Mm. Um, right now, the house is sort of baby mode. I, oh. I bet. So there's lots of baby toys. I'm going to have you guys lay down in the living room on this big green mat that uh, I find myself on at 6 in the morning every morning. <laughs> wow. Laying down there while Julian sort of uh, struggles to pick up his various toys and put them in his mouth. <laughs> so that's sort of like our, our living room is almost like, uh, you know, in like a... Um, a place where you go and, like, I guess a hospital where there's padded walls. Oh. It sort of has a padded floor feel to it. And did you clean your house? Before you guys are coming? Yeah. Absolutely not. Good. Um, so <laughs> that is one thing that this is sort of a live art installation here. Yes. Uh -huh. Where uh, it's not my best foot forward at all. It is just sort of, it is um, mise en scene. It is mise en place. It is... Misan. Misan. Well, look, <laughs> I, I imagine at this stage of parenthood, mm. any sort of cleaning is is futile. Well, yeah, I figured like there's it's like tidy ish, but our house is in a constant state of flux because it's like okay, well Sarah's there early with the baby, so she's like I gotta bring this thing out and this thing out, yeah. and then when uh, and then I get home from work or I'm like whatever, and then things just sort of pile up on the dining room table. So it's not too bad, but it is absolutely a work of art. It's a work of art. It's a. It's an installation of life. <laughs> now, how do we feel? Yeah. How do we feel? Because I think it's just a fact that people people know that Miles has a big, fun personality, right? He's a gregarious guy. <laughs> He's a bubbly man. But his wife is the cooler version of him. Oh, I mean, my wife's very much cooler than me. Yeah. Um, no. Sarah's, Sarah's like, just makes you look like a shy little weasel. She makes me look like a fucking piece of shit, like a, actually. Like a dorko. No, my wife rocks. Uh, she's going to be there. I told her that she may have to make a cameo on the podcast. I'm wondering if we can do a swapsies. Will you want a swapsie with me? I just, I don't know. I think no, we should do a that. rotation. One person gets the mic, one person gets the baby. Yeah. Ooh, that's interesting. Julian will be sort of, um, right now he's really chatting. <gasps> and I don't want to have him on the camera for too long because yeah. he's not ready for the starlight. Right. But, um, he, well, his agent is also a really tough negotiator. And he's in SAG, so he is striking. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just make sure Julian doesn't promote any of his uh, he work. He can't promote any of his upcoming He can appear, projects. but he can't promote projects. Um, but uh, Julian sort of is chatting nonstop. And honestly, this is a toy I want us to play with when we're there. He has a little cactus oh. that repeats back what he says to him. No way. So he'll That's go, cool. ah, and the cactus goes, Rah! That's so cool. It's very cool, but also sort of terrifying because it sounds like like a demon scream. You're going to want to get over in the right lane, by the way. Okay. I just have to disclose before we even get there. Yeah, please. I love babies, <laughs> but babies hate me. No way. Yeah, they do. Like, Erica's son was at the office, and yeah. I was like, am I allowed to hold him? Like, he's so cute. And then he immediately said, Erica, can you actually pick me up? <laughs> no way. Yeah, and that's just, like, so, like, I, every baby. Maybe but it's, are you outputting an energy that is nervous? I prob honestly probably. <laughs> but, but then once I get to, like, three, then I really, they're, like, obsessed with me. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. Why are you so obsessed, obsessed with me? me? Hey! Uh, I no, know. I think that that is part of the thing where, um, like, I didn't really, I was never comfortable holding babies before I had a baby. I was sort of like, oh, this is so nice to hold a baby, but I'm actually a little bit worried I'm going to break it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just like, he's much heftier, so it's a little easier for me to kind of swing him around like a sack of rice. <gasps> Do yeah. you throw him up and catch him? I don't throw him up, but I do sort of toss his weight into the air, and, mm -hmm. and uh, he really is loving that. We're just going to get you real comfortable, Rainy. First thing we yeah. do when we get there, I want Scream. you to drop the baby. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't drop that baby, baby. Hey, don't, don't drop, drop that, that baby, baby. Hey. Don't drop that baby, baby. Don't drop that baby, baby. Don't drop that baby, baby. Well, everybody, uh, it seems like we're sort of getting near proximity to my home, and so I feel that we should cut, and we'll see you at the castle. Hum. Hum. Yeah. 
It's the summer, and I want those convenient meals that doesn't sacrifice quality or nutrition so I can spend more time out there enjoying the sun on the beach. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, can help with ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. We've been eating the cilantro chicken. It's got brown rice, black beans, this spicy corn esquite. I don't even know how it's pronounced, but it is delicious. It's delicious. It's easy. I, honestly, I feel like I'm getting delivery, but it's already here. Their meals are ready in just two minutes of heating. Each week, you're gonna get over 34 restaurant quality options. They got bruschetta shrimp risotto, green goddess chicken, and grilled steakhouse filet mignon. And it is a sustainable choice. Factor offsets 100% of the delivery emissions. Head to factormeals.com slash tryguys50 and use code tryguys50 to get 50% off. That's code tryguys50 at factormeals.com slash tryguys50 to get 50% off. There is so much great pop culture out there. I love watching foreign films. And, I, you know, I find that I'm reading the subtitles sometimes instead of watching the movie. Well, what if I could watch a movie and understand what they were saying? That is why I am using Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone is the most trusted language learning program. It's available on desktop or as an app and it truly immerses you in the language you want to learn. They are the trusted expert for over 30 years. They have millions of users and 25 languages offered. This isn't just English translations. You learn to really speak, listen, and think in a language. It's a super intuitive process, so you're going to be picking up language naturally, first with words, then phrases, then sentences. It builds on itself. Don't put off learning that language. There's no better time than right now to get started. For a very limited time, our listeners can get Rosetta Stone's lifetime membership for 50% off. That's $149 for unlimited access to 25 language courses. For the rest of your life, redeem your 50% off at rosettastone.com slash tryguys today. All right, we are backlit. We are outside of Miles' home. We are not going to knock because the dog will bark. Um, this is my... You've been here, Rainy, right? Yeah, yeah, For yeah. parties? Okay, we know this place. We know. Uh, I love Miles' home. It's Yeah, it's very whimsical. Let's freaking do it to it. Hello. My goodness. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the crib. What's good? Howdy doody. We're sort of hanging out. Um, I have all my answers for questions. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, hi, yeah. 73 yeah. questions with Vogue. Yeah. Will Birdie make a run for it? He no, might. No, Birdie sort of sees a squirrel sometimes and he gets hyper excited about it. Julian, are you going to say hello? <gasps> oh. <laughs> He's like to put that whole thing in his mouth. Miles' son just fully went mouth open and how can I put the entire microphone in my mouth? I So we're here at Miles' home. I, guys, I'm yeah, such what are your a big first impressions? fan. Of, well, I've been here. It's not a first impression, but I love your home. It's, I, it's yeah. a party house and now we have a baby. It's a party house with a baby <laughs> and the baby makes it even more of a party. Let's we're going to set it up so daddy can do his little podcast. That. Uh. There's no, Julian, there's no way that this is a good thing to bite. This is a metal, like, net that's bigger than your head. There's He's really no way that biting the microphone guns. is fun. Sorry. Julian, I'm sorry you are wearing uh, pajamas from Struck Work, and so we are not going to be able to feature that. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we cannot talk about the baby. <laughs> As you can see, my dog is sort of doing this thing that he does sometimes where he takes a stuffed animal and he sort of um, kind of yeah, pulsates it, his <laughs> pulsates his teeth on it. Yeah, it, ignore the bad haircut. What are you talking it about? What's wrong with the haircut? Well, that's very uh, Sarah. Sort of, he had a bunch of mats on his uh, nose and or <gasps> eyes, and Sarah sort of went <laughs> at it. Yeah, I've never seen this. Birdie is. He has the toy in his mouth. I can yeah. see his tongue flapping on the side of it, and he's just going. Har, har. I'm not really sure. I think it's because he, it's like a predator thing. I don't even know. Ah! Ah! Hey, Rainy, like a pro <laughs> journalist, as soon as Julian started yelling, put the mic right over to him, like we're interviewing him. It was perfect. All right, let's reset the shot. We're here in the playpen. What's up? We are sitting on the floor. We are surrounded by Julian's toys today. Yeah. These are our toys. Now, um, 
he's sort of in the morning. My basic routine is that we'll kind of come on down in here and we'll sit on the floor as I try to wake up with a nice cup of coffee. And he'll kind of go around and just kind of crawl through these. These are all start in a box. Oh, really? And he likes to unbox them. Every oh, day. He, he does just the rips unboxing. them out one at a time. Yeah, he's sort of going through them, <laughs> pulling them out, throwing them on the ground, and then sort of figuring out which one he wants to which touch. One he wants. Okay, before we get into the toys, because there's a lot to react to here, yeah. I just want to get on the record yeah. for the record. For sure. Uh, praise of your home. Oh, yeah. Because I love your home, and what yeah. I love about it is the colors. <gasps> yes, that's what I was just going to say. Thank Primary you. colors. Wes Anderson, who? Yeah. We're on oh, a, we actually consulted Wes. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a green mat with blue walls, yellow couch. Mm -hmm. You've got this funky 70s orange and brown print. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, we did a wallpaper stuff because we got married here. Yeah. So oh. it was honestly a good excuse for us to be able to like put a bunch of cool things mm -hmm. in and around the walls. You've got this like old Mediterranean print. It's like the um the, the beach uh like hand drawn. Y'all know those those uh, <laughs> <laughs> y'all know those those? By the way, those, this those. is gonna be go ahead and go ahead and be one of our landlord's properties. A lot of this stuff, well, actually, not anymore. When we first moved in, it was all of our landlord stuff, and slowly over time, we have oh. trickled down the amount of stuff that our landlord Wait, had. Wait, like, it was furnished when you came in? It was furnished, yeah. It was, oh. like, all her old shit. And then now, it's, like, all our huh. stuff. But, but now are that you, took a while. Are you obligated to keep, if, like, when you move out one yeah. day, is yeah. she going to be like, oh, where's my sofa? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yes, but we slowly trickled it to her, or we put it outside, and it got moldy and... <laughs> decrepit and there was a couple wooden chairs that we were like oh we set this outside 19 months ago it's so weird that it's like doesn't work anymore <laughs> yeah 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 so that's sort of but now it's all uh, mostly our stuff and honestly the thing i'm super proud of is the pothos so me and zach just <laughs> got distracted at the exact same time we both were like <laughs> what's funny is that i went to grab this thing and like at the same time rainy like went to like fastly poke it, it and then I went to poke it faster because it was yeah. like a war we were like no 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 I'm going to be the I one to do it one. <laughs> I thought these were going to be bubbles that popped so they aren't and honestly that's a huge boon to the toy and Julian <laughs> thinks so too so I was thinking I was looking at this suction cup because I mean Miles knows this I don't think Zach knows this I'm in my influencer era yeah. As of this morning. Rainy has decided recently, and I'm in full support, that she's in her influencer era. Yeah, Love so this. I have been actually filming myself all morning <laughs> and thinking... <laughs> Rainy was live on TikTok, Twitch, <laughs> Instagram, YouTube. Rainy has been up since two in the morning. Scripted, reality. Doing, yeah, she's hustling. She's grinding. <laughs> but I need a um, phone holder thing with a suction, I think, so I can... To the wall and film. <laughs> so you can... Right on the wall, and then be able to be like, "Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Rainy, and I'm here to have a pizza." There are um, pop sockets, like or like phone cases that have suction cups on the back, and you can frunk, just oh. your fo your whole phone goes to any window. That's any what I need. Wow, yeah, pretty that's pretty cool. awesome. Honestly, I've been thinking about ways that I can have my phone, and I want the new phone because that's got the cinema mode. Oh yeah, I'm rocking an 11, and cinema I mode. gotta say, cinema the cinnamon mode. mode is not doing it for me. <laughs> are you in your influencer era? I would say that I'm also trying to be in my influencer era as Zach sort of fades away from his. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm get so, out. Yeah, he's trying to get out. He's trying to be just like an esteemed director. I'm trying to double down on every freaking cell that I can have for myself. I mean, actually, Zach, do you have any advice for to two to be budding in, influencers? Two budding in <laughs> Do you have any advice on how we can get big brand deals from dog food companies? <laughs> By the way, honestly. That's yeah. a real question. Uh, yeah, for real. Live love. large. <laughs> Live left love. No, I, okay, I'll never <laughs> forget love. this and I'll fucking roast him because I don't give a fuck about Mark Zucker, bro. I, we went to a meeting, <laughs> <laughs> we went to a meeting once at Instagram and yeah. it was supposed to be, do you remember it, IGTV? Yeah. It's, I, I mean, remember we were making those for a while. Yeah, IGTV <laughs> became Reels, which became IGTV again, which became we're pivoting into photo, whatever. So we we were brought in <laughs> for an IG. Maybe this is too real. This is too no, too give inside. It. Give, give, it. It. give me give that it. D. Give me that dirt. Mark Zuckerberg walks into the fucking meeting. He puts his dick on the table. <laughs> <laughs> and says, "You guys are gonna be huge." He 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 goes to us and says, "The try guys, huh? Drop the the. <laughs> <laughs> Just try guys." Uh, so. We we are brought in 
for a pitch meeting for IGTV. And so we come up with all of these. This is like when Instagram, every platform has gone through this era where they're like, oh, we can become prestige. Like if we get our house of cards, then we'll become a real streaming service. It's yeah. like, no, Instagram, you're not going to become a streaming service. Right. It's not what people want you for. And actually like Reels has kind of figured it out. I think it's a much better product now Reels than when sucks, it- sucks, dude. It still sucks, but it's better than when yeah. it launched. It's my reels, all of them are about huskies. They're all trends for me. Okay. It's all like, use this sound if you want to go viral. Hi. And then I'm like, I don't want to use this sound. Okay, mine also is cursed, so <laughs> I don't know why I'm pretending that it's not. My my buddy <laughs> intentionally tries to to fuck both of our algorithms. Oh, that's And so for funny. a long time, he was sending me... Um, uh, Christian anti-masturbation <laughs> memes, <laughs> and it was going to get your algorithm to be fucked up. And it was um, there's there's a it's I was gonna bring it up on this show, but it's like really dark actually. But it's it's there's a huge trend of anti-masturbation memes, and they'll use like the trend du jour. Do you remember it was like no, what no yes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it was like that, oh, but it was no. like like masturbating no like. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, my relationship one? with Jesus? Yup. Yep. <laughs> yup. Invasive nope. thoughts? Nope. nope. Yeah. So Going to church funny. on Sunday? <laughs> yup. <laughs> That's really good. It's good. And then there are all these people who talk about like how not succumbing to masturbation like is like it's like the ultimate productivity hack, and it's. Uh, I'm, I'm really getting off track here. So I just discovered no nut no. Yeah, I was just gonna ask. Yeah, but it's like no nut life. <laughs> we end the podcast. Is that an ad break? <laughs> um, so we got brought in for this IGTV meeting, yeah. and we're we came up with all these shows, and like we're like, okay, cool, like we're gonna pitch all these things, and an Instagram rep sits us down, and what follows is not a pitch meeting but a thorough and overly prepared roast of our social footprints. <laughs> and it was like, it was just an hour long of why we weren't good enough at Instagram. Whoa. And so- and you're like, do I have to be here for this? It was, I felt like I was getting, I was in detention. It was intense. <laughs> so, okay, weird. give me a fake name for this person. Danny. Danny. Uh, uh, Danny. Nice work. Thank you. <laughs> Shit, her name was Danny. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so Danny, Danny pulls open our Instagram and he goes like, "Hey, so um, do you see uh how there's a little circle around your icon?" And oh, actually, no, there isn't. That means you didn't post any stories today. You need at least five Whoa. minimum daily. She baited you. <laughs> yeah. You see the circle? Oh, you don't? Yeah, bitch. That's because you didn't fucking do the story. And was like going through and then like Are one. Like five minimum? Five minimum. This Way was years many. ago. Yeah, but, yeah. Now uh, it's like 20. And then like. <laughs> it was just so intense. And at the end of the pitch, when you were like, so um, do you want to hear our show ideas? And they were like. Get you posting up and we'll talk. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, so it's like they just had you there. After you guys left, they were like, sick meeting, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we nailed it. <laughs> Fixed another one. Got it. So your advice is post five stories a day. Minimum. Minimum, I said. I don't know what it is about stories. And maybe it's just that I'm posting bad ones and then good ones. But sometimes my stories fucking oh, yeah. really bop mm -hmm. off. And sometimes it's like nobody gives a shit about this. Do you check the metrics? Yeah. Do you check the view? Oh, I don't fucking I don't bother. check that. I don't even have that on. I'm not even a, I'm a person, not a brand. Or a, a, not a, yeah. like, I don't have. You don't check the analytics? I don't even have them. Oh, because you have 10,000 followers, though. You have them. If you swipe up on your own story, you can see the metrics. Yeah, well, of course Instagram. you don't check your metrics. You have a Dovin, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you I, don't need to be checking. But those. if I want a Truvin, I got to start checking. <laughs> you got to get the Truvin. Um, okay, right here, there's a little crinkly pocket. Yeah, that's okay. by the way, crinkle stuff is huge for babies. They're loving oh. that crinkle sound. I mean, a lot of this shit is crinkly. Yeah, what's his favorite? Okay, oh, by the way, we've got to read this book. Oh, I read him this, mor this the is morning. Octopus the Escapes. Octopus so, Escapes. This is a crazy book because... Specifically, uh, it's about how aquariums are un unethical. It's about an octopus that gets trapped and put into an aquarium, and he's like unhappy, and then he escapes. <laughs> and he's like, I hate this shit. Like, they're giving me tests that look like toys, and I don't like it. And then he leaves. Oh my God. And he escapes from the aquarium. And he's like, This is like, I don't have any of my friends. There's a bunch of sad sharks Jesus, all around. They're trying really to radicalize dark. your son. I kind of, I mean, it's kind of a cool book because it's really cute, and it's about an octopus. And then it's like, Kind of goes hard. <laughs> it has bars. 
Um, How'd you find this? Did you just pick it up at the bookstore? No, I think a friend of ours sent it to us, and it was their friend wrote it or something. Oh. My favorite book here is The Itsy Bitsy Spider, and it's one of those I had squiggly wiggly surprise when I was yeah, a kid. I gotta say, I think that these books, there's something really uh, that makes me not happy about the way that the puppet comes through the <laughs> well, can hole. You describe it for people who are listening. Okay, so it's a book with a hole in it and a puppet that comes through every page. But it's only a cylindrical puppet. But it's only a cylindrical puppet, and it really is just reminiscent of something that you do not want to be in a kid's book. I don't know what you're talking about. I just you find hornball. I'm freak. not a hornball freak. That's you, Zach. I I'll tell you that I have the fondest memories. Yeah. Of reading this book with my mama. Itsy bitsy with a thing. Itsy bitsy. No, it wasn't itsy bitsy. Mine was squiggly wiggly surprise, and it was yeah. about a worm, and he was squiggly wiggling all over the place, and at the end he became a butterfly, and it was great. But what I loved about it was my mom would be reading and I was puppeteering. You were wiggling. I was squiggly wiggling. That's cool. And the story came alive and then I would she would try and capture my finger and I would go, no! That's pretty cool. And uh, it's, you know, it was my first bit of acting. Mm, this is your first moment into the sort of starlight. Into the limelight. I keep looking for the word limelight and I keep saying starlight. Um, so I do want to, yeah, Zach's sort of doing some Foley. I'm now Julian. I'm like, okay, take this one out. No, literally, he takes all of them out, and then he screams. This one's cute. <laughs> honestly, I feel very lucky that that one is cute. I think it's an axolotl. But um, <laughs> honestly, he's pretty good in that he's not, he only cries if he wants something, is hungry, or like is about to sleep. He's not too, not too fussy most of the time, unless mm. he's going through a growth spurt. So this is something I really was excited to show you guys. This is a little cactus. I've and seen these. Now, this is the thing that Julian is using to talk to himself with. Now, you turn it on, and... If I just say, hey, Zach. No way. What's up, fuck nuts? <laughs> I thought there was going to be a bleep, honestly. Yeah. But they didn't. Yeah. It, hey, like, it, that it, was sort of rude the way that they didn't pick me up. <laughs> like, it doesn't understand it did, me. It did pick you up. It's just saying, that was that, was that. But with you, they're doing that real work. It's probably deeper voices. <laughs> okay, we got it. That can't be a good experience for the audio listeners. I'm a big fan of that. Oh, by the way, Zach, you asked me, but when we sat down, what happened to my knee? Yeah. And because uh, you were looking at my sort of uh, oozing wound. Well, I can tell that it's fresh. It's, well, so, yeah, it, Miles scraped is, his knee and it's, yeah, oozy. Uh, well, I. <laughs> It's a little oozy vert, if I may. But no, my knee, I was uh, at the pool. Sh huge shout out. Yeah. Uh, in fact, you might hear it a little bit later in the episode boy, during the advice segment. But I skinned <laughs> my knee playing Marco Polo. Um, can't be a good experience for the audio listeners. I um, skinned my knee playing Marco Polo, and then it got bad, and then I put Neosporin on it. But I got to say, Marco Polo with your adult friends is a must. Miles, I this is just his way of bragging that he's a really good Marco Polo player. I actually did feel good at the game, and uh, the key is to stay underwater as much as possible because then they you don't have to you can't say it, you can't say polo. What version are you playing? If you go if you take a dive no. under and you're swimming really quick, and they say Marco, you can't even hear them to say polo. Wait, I thought Marco Polo was a tag game. Marco Polo is a tag game. One person closes their eyes and they go, yeah. Marco, polo. and then everyone else says, Polo, and then they try to find them with their right. eyes closed. Right, right, right. But if you're underwater, if, if not the person who's the Marco, the person who's the Polo, if they're underwater, <laughs> <laughs> they can't hear the other people say Marco. So your bet is it's to, to just hold your breath hold until your breath you go to sleep as underwater. long as possible yeah. so that you're not even poloing. Exactly. Seems kind of like bullshit. I mean, now, is there a limit to how many Marcos you can Marco? No, it's unlimited. So I can just be Marco, 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 Marco. I think that then probably like a ref would get involved. <laughs> yeah, is there a referee? <laughs> if you sort of were spamming Marco, I'd probably say, hey. It's <laughs> not really how you play that's the game. It's not really how you play the game, and I'm going to respond every once in a while. <laughs> mm. Sarah, by the way, after I was playing with my friend, Sarah was holding the baby, and then like we switched off after I played, and she was just like, I really wish I had handed the baby off to someone so I could play Marco Polo. She was, she was bummed that she didn't get to play because she likes that type of game. It was like a Tim Robinson sketch of just someone being like, Marco, 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 Marco. All right, Rainy, I just um, played with this toy and yeah. I would love you to kind of live stream your reaction Ooh. to pressing this bubble. Okay. Yeah, so this is going to be crazy. Okay. Press it, but press like you mean it. Press like you mean it. So... 
So you're kind of silently staring at it, which is not what I was hoping for. And I want Rainy to tell you, tell me what happened and how you how you felt. Okay, so when you press the button, then all of a sudden, did you guys ever go to an amusement park growing up? I have yeah. been to an amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> I have done that, Rainy. How do you know? Have you ever gone in that spinny one? The, where the Gravitron. You get, like, yeah, you yeah. get sucked to the edge. Mm-hmm. By the way, really funny. I would like to go. That, oh, by the way, gr- podcast of the Gravitron. I bet you I could <laughs> I could be on a Gravitron for an hour straight. I no could do way. it. No way. You would die. No. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go podcast at the carnival or podcast at the theme park. would be I'd, so funny so and fun. also bad for the audio listeners. But who, it's, at this point, it's a vlog. So At this point, guys, hey, I <laughs> I, I actually I want to shout out the audio listeners because I do appreciate that yeah. they're using their imagination to see what the video <laughs> listeners see. Well, and I think, honestly, to me, that's arguably more exciting. To me, that's love. The ploggers on the video vlogger ploggers uh, yeah. are, are watching nonsense, but mm-hmm. the audio ploggers... Y'all are living in an imagina- if you, imaginarium. If you want to do the real thing, you read the book before you watch the movie. <laughs> Listen to the audio. Well said. And then imagine and think about what you think Miles' yes. house looks like and then get surprised by the house. Yes. Well said. So anyways, this thing is you push the... Th- you. It's a dome. It's a half dome. You push the thing. The inside spins really fast and There's- the balls get... What? Yeah, there's the three edges. colored balls, pink, blue, and a light green. It's like, what's that thing? <laughs> yeah, that's right, describing the colors, it's like, <laughs> you describing this toy at the Toys R Us, and you're trying to buy it for yourself. There's three colored balls, pink, blue, and light green. It is in No ca- red, no purple. It's encased in a clear, translucent half dome with an orange rim around it. You want the- me to be more specific? You want me to be more specific? <laughs> I'm sure you have these in the back. The blue is kind of a baby blue, uh, set against a turquoise landing. On the bottom is what I would almost describe as a bike brake. A what? bike break? A bike break, you know, that um that that kind of textured <laughs> normally they'd be red and they're texture bumpied. Their bike. Oh, when you said texture bumpied. Yeah, no, the bike no, break. The, yeah, bike the bike break. reflector. The bike reflector. Oh, yeah, the not bike a reflector. Break. You mean a break? All right, light. fuck off. Bro. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> By the way, I, I also want to draw your attention to. So this is very confusing for birdie. Yeah, because it's a little birdie. Because it's a little birdie. Um, and not to be confused with a bird. It's no, my birdie dog, the birdie. dog. It's a mini mini version of birdie. And this is very confusing for birdie because this is a toy for Julian. By and the way, <laughs> for those keeping track, birdie still is pulsating on the toy. I know. We don't know what it's about. We looked it up and it was like, it was like, oh, maybe he was taken away from his mother too early, but we know that he was there. We got him from the people and he was like with his mother well, for a long time. maybe you're his mother. I think it's honestly, he does weird stuff sometimes where it's like weird paternal. Like one time hmm. he took a bunch of his toys and he lined them all up like they were ready to nurse. Oh it was really weird. That's he lined really up like five toys in like a little line. And it was honestly, we think it was because Sarah had just gotten pregnant. And we think it was like a he sensed that there was going to be like a baby or something. Oh my gosh. It was really kind of interesting. A little spooky. A little spooky. He like, like toy, if the, if the, the dog, they weren't all like this. It was like they were right side up <laughs> on the ground. Like he put them all. It was weird. And then did he lie next to them? No. Oh, he whoa. just went out, came up to us and went, what's up? <laughs> What's well, good? And you see you like a line see what of toys? I, you guys see what I did? <laughs> I don't want to, you know, I look, any parent who has a dog, yeah. the dog goes into second position. Unfortunately. And it is uh it's a thing that I know is coming for Bo Bowie eventually. Sure. And uh you know, Birdie's just just discovering his new place in the hierarchy. I will say mm. because now Birdie used to sleep with us all the time, then when the new baby came, Birdie could no longer sleep with us because the baby was in a crib in our room now the baby's in a crib in his own room oh. and so birdie is back on the bed with us and <laughs> the he boys could, are back in the town the boys are back in town and it's awesome and we love having birdie in the bed even though it is i am a huge tall person sarah's tall as well and birdie is a gigantic is, dog so it is the three of us sort of like we have a double king like yeah, you, we have a california king and it is us just sort of like what's a california king it's slightly longer, longer. than a regular king but it's slightly huh. less wide because californians are taller i don't know what the implication hmm. is right I think that that makes sense for what the implication would be. <laughs> um, now, I am going to go because I know that it's custom for me to find a little snack for you guys. So, Zach, <gasps> I'm going to try to find you a little Thank beacon you. treat. Rainy, I'm going to try to find you a little treat. Well, actually, I have a question. Yeah. And this maybe is too much. Here we go. Can you make me a coffee? 
Because I've never had your coffee. I and now can Miles, make you a coffee. Fun fact about on? this: Miles used to be a barista. No, I've never talked about this. <laughs> I don't ever talk about this, but I did. Used to work at several different coffee shops. Rainy, I can make you a coffee. Oh my gosh, what kind of coffee are you going to make? I'm going to make you a little americano because we don't have enough coffee. I know that we have a limited amount of beans, and I'm. Love I know that we have enough to make an americano. So I'm going to make you an americani. I'm sorry, we just we got the lunch order text oh. and whatever fancy ass place we're going to today, MJ's getting lavender duck oh, feet. It oh, simply it's has to be the duck. So wheat salt. It has it has got, I'm gonna send a voice memo to the whole company. <laughs> Hang on. Here we go. You gotta tell the people what you want. I don't want dictation on. Are you out of your fucking mind? Can't send audio messages at this time. Oh, it's cause someone has an Android. Can you believe that? Lame. Who is it? It's probably Here, Chris. I got you, don't worry. Okay. Miles will have wants the duck oatmeal. No way. No fucking <laughs> way. Zach is slandering me in front of the whole company. I must have the duck. <laughs> and, and breakfast potatoes. <laughs> and a side of steak. So you're going to go make us coffee while Rainy and I just kind of kick it? So I want you guys to... No, no, oh, I'm going to make Rainy a coffee. It's going to take me you? approximately 30 seconds. No, you can't possibly come in here because there's just stuff all the dining room tables, Zach, and I don't know if there's dishes in the kitchen. Okay. You guys can come with me. Yeah. That's all, all right. right. Voyage <laughs> to the kitchen. I'm going to press the heart button. Okay, we are going on an adventure. Now, yeah, so this is sort of where I start my day. And then when Julian is playing... I can see him from my little coffee station, so I often will sort of leave this area while he's over there laying down, kind of rolling Do you, around in so his he's toys. He's on the mat. He's on the mat, or I put him in what I call his workstation, which is a little area that's over here. Oh, and you've got a whole coffee. This look, is his a whole little, barista. This is his little workstation, oh, so I'll yeah. put him in there, and he'll be able to kind of do his thing. Wait, is this the kitchen? I don't think I've been to the kitchen. This Let's is see. my kitchen. Well, Rainy, you came to a party here at one point. This is my kitchen. Oh, <laughs> Rainy and I both tried. You we guys got get stuck, stuck in the doorway. <laughs> they got stuck in the doorway. <laughs> oh, here's baby, baby so, Juju. Yeah, these are. This is my kitchen. Welcome. Oh. And um, this is Julian's little workstation. This is my stove. With don't you dare look at the pan with stuff in it from yesterday. Oh, it looks clean, honestly. It was a soy did, you add, did you closed. add vinegar at the end? So I that it didn't. It? I had a soy riso. What's wrong? Yeah, I know my eyes are closed. You told me not to look. I'm not gonna look. Well. All right, so first of all, we're going to sort of do a snack style and looking. And zoom in on that oven. So Zach's got the oven, but honestly, Miles has... This oven is a million pounds, and it has a pilot light on all the time. And it's tiny. It's from like the 19... You think it's tiny? Well, the the, the, the part actual, where it's actually Oh, the oven where you yeah, where you store foods that you're going to cook. I guess you're not storing them. <laughs> where you're cooking the foods is a tiny place, but this is an oven from like 1920, and it's humongous. Uh, and there's always a pilot light on, so that it's always hot. Touch that. Touch that top. It's no because way. the type of oven that it is, it's just fucking ancient. So there's always a little bit of heat going on. I would say I would say that's more than a little heat. Yep. That's hot. Oh yeah. Like oh yeah. Welcome to my welcome to my life. <laughs> we are constantly worried that this is gonna have a gas leak and kill us in the middle of the night. Yeah. yeah. But this is just the type of oven that it is. It has two pilot lights right there, which is really insane. Well, glad you don't have twenty one. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, by the way, Rainy just unlocked a really good new catchphrase for when someone has a bad joke. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> now, Rainy, I was thinking about yeah. giving your snack to be an ice cream sandwich. <gasps> oh. Would that interest you? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so I've got a little cookie slash ice cream sandwich for Rainy. Thank you. Now, Yum. for Zach, I I've got a little idea <laughs> that I think is going to... Zach, close your eyes. I've got a little idea that I think is going to make him really happy. And it's going to be a special little item that I've been saving specifically for Zach. No way. <laughs> now, what we're no talking about here, Zach, way. you can open your eyes, is an oat non-dairy frozen dessert sandwich. Shut the front door. <laughs> That's right. That's a true a little, little vegan, vegan treat, treat. Mm -hmm. from Trader Joe himself. Yeah. Trader Joe came early this year. Wow. <laughs> um, well, That's what she I'm said. not hungry. Oh, my God. I'm, How rude. I'm, How rude of him. <laughs> he comes into my home. Refuses my customary foods. <laughs> but for you, I'll open wide. Okay, cool. Well, you can have a bite of it and then I can finish it if that's nice. Um, okay, and then why don't you get started on the coffee and we'll do a little treat review. Okay, that's perfect. We're going to split an Americano. You know who's going to have You know who's gonna have coffee? 
our next episode. Really? Oh shit! Next week we're going to the Smosh office, guys. I'm very excited. All right, okay. I'm, I can't. Hello, Julian. Daddy's at work. Uh, what I do for a job is kind of dumb, right? Hello, Julian. I'm Daddy's friend and acquaintance. Hello, sweetie. Are you being so cute? I'm gonna eat this ice cream sandwich now. Are you in your special little outfit? Ooh, it's cold on my teeth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the oat sandwich. You going outside? Oh, his little hat. Oh, he's got a little hat that matches his little tank top. Look at that. He's That's just cool. learned how to use a sippy cup, which is kind of honestly monumental because Huge. he didn't know how to do that before, and that's been a new development. <laughs> well, he knows how to get in his mouth, but then he <laughs> kind of dumps it. Me, he yeah. kind of dumps the water out after he gets into his mouth. All right. I love you, honey. So, Zach, I'm going to need you to... I guess you guys are both having your ice cream sandwiches. Yeah, it's delicious, by the way. Update on the little vegan treat. This is probably the best little vegan treat that we've gotten all season. Okay, wow. so I sort of have built a lav mic out of the handheld mm. mic. Wow, Miles has put a microphone into his shirt, and I don't know how it's staying up, now, but it is. Now, we're going to sort of do a little coffee tutorial here. Now, with an espresso machine, there's lots of little hot items. It is hot. It is piping hot, and you're going to want to be really careful. <laughs> so, I'm going to sort of... <laughs> Guys, I don't know if the mic the camera just caught that, but I went to go eat my ice cream sandwich and it was a microphone. <laughs> you ate the microphone? I just like Julian, I just went huh and my my oh, my my lips and my tongue like tenderly <laughs> Did they graze? Did you bra did you abrasively like damage your lips? It is I'm so embarrassed. I'm so <laughs> deeply embarrassed. There was a real I I really hope the camera caught it and if not, I shouldn't have called it out. Mm. Classic Zach, by the way, right? <laughs> so you've got a mason jar of, with one layer of beans. So I've got a little bit of beans and there's not much. That's why we're going to be splitting this Americano several ways. If not, if, if it depends on how much beans I have. Because if I have more beans than I think I have. <laughs> so, Miles, are you nervous? Because you've been talking a big game about your coffee. Well, honestly, the big thing I'm nervous oh. about is that there's not enough beans. <laughs> so, <laughs> awesome. let me tell you exactly how many beans. Oh, actually, guys. Big update. <laughs> I have 33 grams of beans, which means that I can make almost a full Chemex. Let's get cooking. First things first, I'm gonna put the beans in the grinder. And put you, the beans in the grinder! You weigh the beans? Oh, Rainy, you simple fool. <laughs> <laughs> I weigh the beans because um, coffee, <laughs> it, when you have a scooper, coffee weighs different amounts. It's really just about the gram amount of the amount of beans you've got. So that's why huh. I weigh them, because it's like different beans weigh different amounts, oh. and really you're, it's just about weight. So I'm not going to be making an espresso. Instead, no. I'm going to be making a Chemex, but we're going to be doing a little bit of math. Typically, I do 40 grams of beans, 700 grams of water. What temperature are you putting that kettle to? This is going to 212 degrees. Oh, that's hot. Now, um, what I would love to tea do... Is at, black tea is at 206 for those keeping score at home. Classic Zach. Always making it about tea. So, essentially, I usually do 700 grams of water. So, we're going to divide by zero and 33 grams, which is seven minus grams. So, it's going to be some sort of amount. Probably going to do like, um, instead of 700, probably like 600. Math, bitch! Not exactly. Um, anyway, Rainy. How's yeah. your ice cream sandwich? Oh, my God. Hey, Zach. Oh, you were just telling us about something really interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. It was a good burn. And now the coffee is grinded? <laughs> we're ready to go. Now we just have the water, we have the water to heat up. <laughs> you can hear it on the audio. Yeah, so you can hear the water heating up, um, and that's going to be because it's in an electric kettle. But this is sort of my routine every morning. But then when I do it in the morning, I have this kettle too. I'm usually when I'm doing it in the morning. <laughs> Should I get the kettle? I make. Tea it's nice, but it's it's expensive kettle. and it's kind of like unnecessary. I had a different gooseneck kettle that I put on the stove, and those are much cheaper. You can get different types. Miles of Miles recommends a duck neck. Goose, I said, Zach. The duck neck's cheaper. What's the What's vibe right now? Yeah, the vibe right now has really turned since you guys had your sandwiches. Sugar crash. So you're, just, you're having sugar crash already? Would you like to finish mine? Yeah. Well, I don't want to touch your dirty little lips. <laughs> <laughs> After you abrased them on your uh, on your microphone. 
But anyway, gang, this is basically my house. Um, I will say, how long have we been recording? 38 minutes? We should probably kick it to the advice as I make the coffee. Mm. Because uh, we recorded for a little bit in the car on the way over. Okay, Randy and I have been practicing this, so we know how to throw. Right. Here we go. Are you thinking? <laughs> I was thinking, are you ready? Okay, are you thinking about... Hmm. Baby <laughs> this toys. This is crazy. <laughs> because I knows. Knows. So, <laughs> sorry. Knows. I knows. Miles, this, is, this isn't your segment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How's that coffee coming? It's on its way, boss. Now I noticed that you're <laughs> doing the kettle without a lid. Now that's a, I'm glad you pointed that out, Zach. It's because the lid <laughs> is broken somehow. So sometimes when I do it, it will volcano boiling hot water into the sky through the little holes in the top of the lid. Okay, well oh, wow. you should absolutely get a new lid. No, you should write to the company and they'll send you a new one. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's probably what I should do. I but, I had one of these and it, something broke online. Yeah. It mm -hmm. like. Zach know. said, speak to the manager. Zach yeah. said, can I talk to your manager? Here's the thing. Zach okay. is Karening. People aren't realizing this. All right. This is advice that'll go for Zach. Be a little bit of a Karen sometimes. <laughs> if it's a big company. Now, corporate okay. brands yeah. are not your friends. Damn right. They're fucking pieces of shit. Go off, sis. And they squeeze little dollars. <laughs> We're going to squeeze them right back. So if it's a big old company, you're going to respectfully... Write them an email, respectfully telling them that you want free shit mm -hmm. and you're going to get it because that's... I actually support that. Yeah. That no, I support that trash? too. I support that too. Open the trash and then put that opinion in it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so what I'm going to do now is pre-wet the filter. Ew. Sorry. Why? Because I said wet? You little... You pre wet it? And you called me a horn dog earlier. Excuse me, Zach. Excuse me. Excuse me, Zach. <laughs> so basically, you pre wet the filter because <laughs> it's important to have it just a little bit moisture so that way the grounds kind of go through and also you get rid of that paper taste, which is what people are always talking about. Audio oh. listeners, how bad do you think we're beefing right now? Me and, me and you? Yeah, all of us. All We're three of all us. beefing so hard. We're <laughs> standing. And by the way, Rainy and Zach are both standing cocked to the side with one hand on their hips. It is a really <laughs> wild way to stand. Rainy and I have been slowly morphing to the same person. Yeah. In a way I'm loving that it. Neither of us can fully comprehend. Mm -da 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 -da. Well, I'm coming for Desiree's spot because Zach is dressing like exactly like Desiree on more days than not. Yeah, well, I, or is Desiree dressing like me? Mm. I've been on this earth longer. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to start the pour. What we're going to want to do is wet the grounds. And <laughs> Advice that'll go for Miles. What the fuck is up, Miles Nation? I hope you little, little, wild ladies and goys are going to do something that's going to get nasty. What I'm asking y'all to do, uh, screw me, <laughs> is to... <laughs> I want an apartment. I want a pool. I want an apartment with the pool. I want a friend with an apartment with the pool. Oh, yeah. Have an apartment with a friend with a pool. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be able to play Marco Polio. Offensive. I just was trying to do a fun <laughs> twist on the word polo. And I didn't mean to say that. We, we have a vaccine. Eric, <laughs> Eric, Eric. Scratch that. Starting <laughs> starting 30 seconds ago, playing Marco Polo in the pool is a really fun thing to have. The main difference is that you're going to be wet. Oh, my gosh. Because you're going to be in a pool. Is you're beating that horse to the ground. Okay, Rainy. <laughs> He's always talking about being wet. I'm trying to get, oh, because I said pre-wet moist the filter. Yeah. And because I said swim in a pool. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell y'all that I went swamming uh, the other day, and it was an absolute delight. And it's summer. You know what? Here's and this is just sort of a side piece <laughs> of advice, but it's just it's so much effort to be like, am I gonna really do plans? You know I, I mean? totally know. Yeah, like the plan, like plans. I, hate pl I really can't plan. It's hard to plan, like and everyone's feeling like, oh, you know what? I'd rather do is stay inside and read a comic. <laughs> but what you should be doing is making a plan because it's almost always worth it. And you know what? Don't be afraid to just thrust plans upon your friends. That's wow, what I thrust. did. Thrust. Zach being a horn dog again. 
<laughs> this weekend, I uh, I have a friend with a pool, Lauren, Lord DIY, and I just said, "Hey, what do you you? We should come swim." <laughs> it's not really so. The same. Basically, I said the sort of um, people's advice. Yeah. Now and I'm gonna. Jack went ahead and said, "Go to your friend's closest mansion." Yeah. Have a friend who's a multimillionaire get YouTuber. Get them to helicopter you, <laughs> you <laughs> to their pool. And I basically just said, hey, you should let us come over and swim. And that's what we did. We invited yeah. ourselves over. That's good. I, yeah. have, a, I have a code. You have a code to you her? You have a code to her house? A code. She wow, had... Rainy. That moment when you have a code to your, your... friend's gate. <laughs> and we went in and we swam. And then you ready for this? Another friend got a boat. <laughs> Holy fuck. Really? Really? Friend got a Duffy. What's a Duffy? It's like a little boat. That's kind of sick, though. I will say I do want to spend more time on the water. I'm trying to get into the naval space. Yeah, and so we we we, we <laughs> saw them on Instagram, and they were they were Duffy, and we're like, oh my god, you got a boat? When are we hanging? And then and they were like, ha ha ha, and we we're like, okay, next weekend. And they were like, okay. So you forced your friend with our, a boat. I, I like bullied that. plans this weekend. That rules, yeah. though, because the boat is good to. And have. they were both water based oh, yeah. activities, and I'll tell you, I did very little, but I felt super fulfilled. Oh yeah. Being anywhere near the water, you're like, I did something. I did a big thing today. It's that thing. What is it called? Blue Ocean Project? So now, how do I... I mean, let's take this advice one step for, further. Yeah. How do I get a Friends friend with a boat? Because I'm thinking you go to an expensive bar. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. Or hang out in Venice. Uh-huh. If you go to Venice and you go to the club and mm. you just say... And honestly, you wear a t-shirt that says, girl looking for a boat. <laughs> probably going <laughs> to... Probably going to find someone that has a boat, to be totally honest. You find someone popping bottles. Jared popping bottles. Can bear Jared popkin bottles. Popkin should absolutely be a sea captain. Not not have an apartment and just live in a boat. I knew oh, a yeah. guy that lived in a boat. Yeah, in college, there's a guy who thought that the dorms were too expensive, so he lived on his boat. Jonathan, yeah, that guy had family money though. We all we got to be honest. Yeah, John, it didn't make any sense. Jonathan just... at our office when he moved to L.A. He oh yeah, up, lived on a boat. That is true. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, that's my advice that'll go for Miles. That's Zach's advice that'll go for Zach. And that seems to be Rainy's advice that'll go for Rainy. Amen. Get a shirt that says, Girl wants a boat. Girl want a boat. <laughs> Girl looking for boat. Um, well, um, let's drink the coffee and go <laughs> play with your son, I guess. I guess so. He doesn't want to play with you. He texted. No, he actually texted and he's like, oh, I think that's my new dad. Do you think that, sorry, my, my friends, by the way, um, Julian has two godfathers because I was just like, Three why, now. why not? Nope, not Zach. Me but, and Rainy. Um, but uh, <laughs> one of them, my friend Jay, is always going to Julian going, I'm your daddy. I'm your daddy. <laughs> Um, all right, everybody. Well, we hope you've had an absolutely wild in day. Mm -hmm. Miles's words, not ours. And hopefully that you're having probably like the best little picnic this afternoon. Again, Miles's words, not, you know I mean? not ours. Do you guys no, enjoy my house? A picnic is a good idea, though. I love your house. I will yeah. say though, the feeling that you, both of you expressed of once you're in the house, I'm like, ooh, like it's ooh. my house. Like I want everyone to enjoy this. <laughs> it is interesting. Cause I know it's high pressure. Yeah. It's high pressure. Cause yeah. I was in your house as I was just a chaos agent. Yeah. And now I'm here in my own house doing things that I already do. And now that we've done all three, I would like you to rank our yeah. homes in the yeah. comments. And I love that you refer to it as all three, because of course we are the big three. <laughs> <laughs> and because we have to go to Keith's house. <laughs> well, we might go to some at some some, some guests how homes. <laughs> at some point, we got to go to Keith's house. At some point, we got to go to other houses. Do you think that's Jack's invasive house. though to have a guest on the show and go to their house? No, I think that's a great idea. Okay, Being so like, we'll go. Hey, to do you want a guest on our podcast? So we'll invite we'll invite <laughs> Keith on. Yeah. No, you go. Can you can you do you want a guest on our podcast? And they just go, oh yeah, like, and then we just say, cool. What's your address? We'll be we'll right meet there. At your house. We'll, we'll pick meet. you up. <laughs> yeah, we'll pick you up. And then we just walk in with recording equipment. That's a yeah. good idea. I've got big plans to crash homes. Big home energy. Big. We should go to Laura, Lauren. Lauren, oh. DIY, last name DIY. You want to do <laughs> podcasts in the pool? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's such really a danger. Funny. And it's such a funny idea. <laughs> I think it's worth it. We drop the microphones, we get electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's a <laughs> thing about it's a big pool and a little mic. It would just be a little zap. Big pool, little mic. We should have a guy named Mike on. We got to just get this out. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. Have a good ass week. <laughs>